Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to search deactivated records from relational fields. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to apply default filter or the group by option in the list view or in the pivot view, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the playlist, you can see Odoo development playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases. And in case you need any support related Odoo, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. Source code also available in the GitHub. Make sure you can follow to get the latest code. So let's back to our main topic like how you can search deactivated records. So for example, in the school profile let me give you the small demo so this is the school profile and you can see here we don't have an active field right so let me add here the active equal to fields dot boolean active and default is true and i will try to upgrade this module If you don't know how to configure Odoo in PyCharm and start the automated process like this way, please check editor level playlist. I already explained. Now, if I will go to the school profile and refresh the screen, right? I want to just deactivate this uh, school XML field. So simple. I will go to here and archive. And once I will do, you can see here total 13 schools available. And let's say if I want to check we how many uh, schools deactivated. Sorry, this is the for uh, true one. So this is the wrong filter. I have to choose the false one, right? So you can see this school XML three is the deactivated. Now, if I will go to here in the school profile, so you can see previous discussion we applied the default filter and the group by option in the list view in this pivot view you can see the kanban view right like this so let me remove this part and you can see this school xml3 so this jethalal student already configured the school name right it's not deleted from the database if it is deleted from the database you can see here it's a blank but it's just a deactivated so soft delete we can say here and if you click here and let's say i will try to remove this one and i will try to find out that xml right x school xml3 so here you can see it's not find out that specific school right let's say school xml4 school xml5 school xml6 uh, this three is already available but let's say the school xml3 is not available right so let's say if you want to also search this one including the deactivated records from this relational fields that is also possible so here the first thing is what we have to do is we have to go to in the form view. So let's say this is the form view. You can see this is the school underscore ID. And here we have to pass as a T and value pair. We have to provide as a false active underscore test. So this keyword, if you will pass in the context for the specific relational field, then what happen? It will automatically search deactivated records too. So here the false means we have to also search deactivated records. By default, it's a true, right? So we don't need to use this one, but let's say false. And simple, I will try to upgrade this module. and I will try to refresh the screen now you can see the search uh, the search option automatically pop up this school xml3 and if I will search let's say 
school right so you can see this record already deactivated right so three four five and six this four record is found so let's say school xml like this now let's say if i will change from false to true so what happened you can see here the result again i will try to refresh the screen and now again i will try to search here like school xml now you can see only three records found right and same here also you can see total 13 schools available right but let's see if i will try to add here the filter as a false you can see one more record is found as a deactivated and deactivated record you cannot see here in this 13 record right so let's say if you want to also display here so simple what we have to do is in the school profile in the windows action so this is the our windows action for the school profile here we have to pa pass out the context active underscore test and false and simple we have to upgrade this school module and refresh the screen remember 13 record is here right now you can see 14 record also found including the deactivated which is this one so let's say if i will try to deactivate this three records xml4 xml5 and xml6 right still if i will refresh the screen it's visible as a 14 but let's say when in the moment if i will try to comment this context part in the windows action so you can see here and once i will refresh the screen you can see total 10 record found instead of the 14 all right so it's my mistake we don't need to comment this part because it's already available in the windows action but let me upgrade one more time with this true And now you can see 10 record found right and let's say if i will try to add like active should be the false how many record found four records found and same here in the student profile if i will try to find out school xml so no record found but let's say if you want to search all the deactivated records you have to pass out this active underscore test as a false or else it won't be work all right so using this context you can pass and it will work if you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in our next session